Yes. So today we are going to, I want to show you how you can look at molecular interactions that happens between your drug and your protein, right? Let's go to what we did last week. Let me, let, let me open the complex of what we did last week. I think I did have that on my desktop. Yes. And I think, is it leap? I think I gave it leap. Okay. So let's use melon, for example. Where is the final complex? So in this case, now we are working with the final complex. Now, you see me now. This is, this is, this is the MLN drug at the active site. Let me, let me select the drug so that you can see. Let me select the drug. Let's select the drug. Yes, you see the drug? This is the drug at the active site of the these two enzyme, right? And I said something last week, this drug that you are seeing here, it's not just hanging at the active site of this enzyme. No, 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 no. It's not just hanging. There is a kind of interaction that is holding this enzyme, this, sorry, this drug, MLN, at the active site of S2. This site is called the exopeptidase site of S2. S2, human, human angiotensin converting, converting enzyme 2 is the enzyme that is responsible for the conversion of angiotensin 2 to angiotensin 3. And this enzyme is very important in kidney in lung and heart function. You understand? And at the same time, it's the one that accommodates SARS CoV 2 from gaining entrance into the body, into, into human cell. So what we are trying to do is to develop a bit of drug that can stop this enzyme. You know that is, is that we stop that we affect this enzyme from accepting SARS CoV 2 from gaining entrance into the system, into the human host. So now, how do I know? How, I, I want to show how do we know the interactions that is happening between this drug and the enzyme. Don't forget, I said earlier that there is an interaction that is happening here. There is definitely an interaction that is happening here. So how do we know the interaction that is happening here between this drug and the enzyme? And that is very simple. We, have, we need another software. There are actually, there are a lot of softwares that you can use. There is Leak Plus, there is Maestro software, and there is also Discovery Studio. So in this tutorial of ligand drug protein interaction, we are going to use Discovery Studio. I already have Discovery Studio installed on my on, on my laptop. I'm going to make a video of how you can do this. Is this is what is called Discovery Studio on how you can do Discovery Studio. Now, this Discovery Studio is a software by a company in Germany. I think in Germany, yes, Bavia. Now, this Discovery Studio will tell us the ligand, the receptor. Don't forget, the receptor is your protein. Ligand is your drug interaction. What type of interaction is happening between our drug and, and the protein? The, pro the drug is at the active site of the protein, but what is, what is holding it there? Why are we getting the negative minus eight that we reported last week for MLN? So it is this software that will give us that interaction that is happening between our drug and the protein at the active site. And for you to do that is simple. Just come to file. So we need to go. I need to go and we need to go and import your final complex that you had last time. In, the, in doing your docking, you need to go and import that on this software. Go to file, click open, and from open, go to where you have your. I, I have my own folder in on desktop lib. So wherever you have your own, you go there, click open. Now I want to let's look at MLN before we look at Telano. Open and you go to the final complex. In this case, you need the final complex, the structure that has the, the drug at the active site of the protein. So let's click it. It's going to can you see that? So in this place, you can also see just can you see that. So this is the drug, this is the enzyme, and this is the drug at the active site. Now, the purpose of coming here is to look at the interactions that is happening between this drug and the amino acid residues at the active site of this protein. Once you do that, 
come to this place, click on show 2D diagram. The diagram of the legal interaction, click on show 2D diagram and this will come up. Can you, can you see this? Hello? Yes, Dr. Okay, now, what you are seeing here, what you are seeing on this, on, on my, on the, on the right side, left, right, right hand side, is what is, is exactly what is here. This structure that you are seeing, this is the drug. Let me try to change the display. Yes. This is the MLM drug that you are seeing here. This drug that you are looking at, this is it. Now, this drug is not, like I said earlier, this drug is not just sitting there alone. It's sitting there because it has interactions with amino acid at the active site of this. And this is the amino acid that this drug that you are looking at is interacting with. This is aspartate. And I asked you guys to look to, to, to show me three, two, three letter structure of your amino acids. This is aspartic acid with ASP. So this drug is interacting with aspartic acid on this enzyme. On, on H2, you can see this is an hydrogen. This, this is, an, this, this is a, a, a molecule. Are you getting me? On this protein. And this protein, this is interacting with phenyl, this is phenylalanine. PHE is phenylalanine amino acid. It's interacting. And this type of interaction is called, if you come here, you can see an interaction legend. This, this green is Van der Waal. This deep orange is salt bridge. This deep green is conventional hydrogen bond. This light green is carbon hydrogen bond. This light orange is pi cation. This purple is pi sigma, and this pink is pi pi star. And that the, and this is the type of interactions that happens between the, the drug that you use for any disease and the target and the protein or this therapeutic target that it is working on. So there is an interaction between whatever drug you are using. For example, if you are using telano, the interaction between telano and the cross enzyme in your, in, your, in your body that bring about therapeutic effects that makes telano not to, to, telano to reduce your headache. So there must be an interaction between a drug and its biological target. So for this H2, H2 enzyme, for this drug to be able to work on H2, there must be an interaction between this drug and H2. And that is the interaction that you are seeing. Can you see? They were interacted with zinc. This is this red is oxygen. All this, all this gray or ash color is carbon hydrogen, carbon structure. These are carbon. Are you getting my point now? So there is an interaction between your drug and your protein. So when you are designing, apart from the docking score that we look at when you are designing a drug. It is also important to look at this interaction. Is your drug interacting with essential amino acids needed for inhibition of a particular enzyme? So you take note of you, these are the things you take note of. So I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to close this. Let's now go and let's now go and import the final complex for telano. And let's compare the, the this interaction of telano with what we have for H2. And that will give you the reason why our telano is having a low negative score and why H2 is having higher negative score. Let's go and import the telano in a complex. Let's go back this telano, right? Click. Let's find a complex of telano and H2. Now, this is this is the structural law. So let me ask, let's go for this telano. Let's request for the this structure. You see, can you see, can you compare the number of interactions between Telano and what we have for these two? Can you see? If you should, if let's count the total number of amino acid interactions that we have for is two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. Let's go to his, let's go to Telenor complex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can you see? 24 to 14. And let me tell you this. What will determine the binding energy, the binding, the docking score rather, what will determine the docking score is depend on two things. Number one, the type of interaction and the total number of interaction that happens between a drug and a protein will determine the docking score. If you look at S2, we have we only have just 14 interaction, 14 interaction with amino acids, and just three types of bond, three type of interaction. We have 14 bonds, three type of interactions. If you come to S2, we have 24 amino acid interaction, and we have how many bonds? Interaction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This justify why S2 has more docking score than Telenor. Is it clear to you? Are you guys following? Do you, are you, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So the type of interaction and the number of interaction that happens will determine the docking score that you are seeing. So when you have minus five for metformin, minus four or that we add for telenor, it was not the, the software did not just did not just come up with those figures. No, the software look at the number of interactions that happens. The number and type of interaction that happens before it came up with that score. So when you are designing a drug for a particular disease, you have to consider this because in, in biochemistry, it is the it is the conformational changes that binding of a drug put on a protein or an enzyme will determine whether that enzyme is going to be inhibited or induced. So when you are when we are the, you are designing drug. It is always good to look at interaction. I can send you a lot of some of my publication to see how this interaction is being considered in our choice of, of drugs. You understand? So that's how it happens. So this must be considered. And this I'm telling what I'm telling you today. This is what Pfizer, big pharmaceutical industry, this is what they used before they could come up with their drugs. I'm telling you, they make use of all these things that they are doing to design their drugs. Before they can, it now gets to the point that FDA will approve it and it's being sold on the market. That is the concept of drug design. So this is this. So this, that this is the interaction that you see. And apart from this interaction, apart from this, this software can also give you, you know, a whole lot of clue. So many things that you don't you know. A whole, a whole lot of things. Probably you want to look at hydrogen bond. Hydrogen, hydrogen bond location of this. You want to look at charges, you know, we'll get into that later. Aromatic structure, hydrophobic, you know, the service area and accessibility, all those things you can get it. The software can provide you information on that. But what we have just shown is how to look at the ligand protein interaction. And what that means is drug enzyme interaction. This also helps in in our choice of in, 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 in examining if a drug is going to work against a particular protein. Do you understand? Any question? Any question on that? No, Dr. Dowo. Okay, that's fine. So let's, I just show that to you. Let's stop this. And Dr. Lee, you say you're going to send us a video on how to install this software, right? Yes, of course, I'm going to do that.